Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender, and today we're making a five and dime by Zach Pease. Uh, he works at My Friend Duke in New York City and was a former bartender at Attaboy. Um, for those who don't know, Attaboy is partly owned by Sam Ross, who has made cocktails such as the Paper Plane, the Penicillin, and the Too Soon, which I've recreated here on the channel. So. Um, Actually, I, I think I mentioned it in one of my recent videos. No, I mentioned it in one of the videos that I didn't publish because our microphone wasn't working. I will make a playlist of Sam Ross cocktails because his cocktails are fantastic. So anyone that has worked alongside him, who has worked at Attaboy, probably makes great drinks too. So Zach Pease, thanks for this one. So this is a gin-based, gin and um, apricot brandy-based cocktail, uh, 45 mil. 1.5 ounces of your preferred gin. I'm just using Beef Eater, my go-to. Then we've got 15 mil cut, half an ounce. Yes. 15 half an ounce of apri apri apricot brandy liqueur. <laughs> apricot. Uh, then we've got fresh lemon juice, 22.5 mil. Three quarter ounce. Some similar ingredients from uh, yesterday's cocktail that I uploaded. Um, so if you have the Android app, then you could easily see this and find what other cocktails you can make that are relatively similar. Uh, 15 mil, half an ounce of almond syrup. Uh, this one's shaken and it's strained over crushed ice. And of course, don't forget your bitters. Two dashes of Angostura aromatic and two dashes of orange bitters. If for some reason, Zach Pease, you're watching this video, um, let me know what the original bitters combination was because I've seen a couple of recipes that call for the shorts bitters instead of the orange. I'm going with orange. So, over crushed ice. Ooh, quite a nice peachy color. Top it up with more crushed ice and then garnish. Nice and simply. Slice of orange and a maraschino cherry. Easy. There you have the five and dime. Cheers. Delicious. Um, apricot brandy, that's the, the hero of this cocktail. I think if you had a couple of these back to back, then it could get a little bit sickly sweet with the combination of the almond syrup and the apricot brandy. But if you're just sipping on one, then this is delicious. But also, you're gonna get a little bit of extra dilution as you drink it from the crushed ice. So I think it will be a bit more palatable when you're having multiple. Yeah, as I said before, the apricot brandy is the hero of this drink. Uh, I'm using Marionette, which is an Australian brand. They do some um, boutique or craft liqueurs. They do like a, a Nacino, which actually, they do a Nacino, which is their walnut liqueur. They do an Amaretto. Uh, they do an orange curacao. They do Cassis, Blackcurrant. Yeah, there's, there's actually not too many uh, companies that are doing fruit liqueurs in Australia and that are doing it well, but these guys are. So uh, this is a, Brandy based, yeah, from Angov, which is um, only a couple of hours away from us that they source their brandy to make their brandy liqueur. Delicious. Uh, apricot brandy. 
De Kuiper. De Kuiper's probably one brand. Tempest Fugit, might, they might do one over in the States. Bowls, Bowls would surely do one. Bit of Truth, uh, Giffards. Yeah, so if you're in Australia, grab, pick yourself up a bottle of Marionette on their website. Otherwise, uh, Bit of Truth, Giffards, they're probably two, two of the most popular brands. Yeah. So there you have the uh, Five and Dime by Zach Peace. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.